Hi, you're joined by Jamie, and welcome back to part two of deploying profiles to your N400 or N500 clients using the vSpace management server. In part two, I'll show you how to create a new profile from the vSpace server itself. First, open up the vSpace management center and log in using the username and password of VMC admin. Once logged on, set device management and manage profiles from the navigation menu. Here, you can create new profiles for your N400 or N500 devices. Today, I'm going to create a new profile for an N500 device. First, give your profile a name, and if required, enter a profile description, and then hit next. Underneath select devices, you can select the devices you want your profile to be rolled out to. However, you can select the devices at a later date, which I'll show you later in this series. Underneath the Zen Desktop tab, this is where you can specify your profile for your Citrix web interface. You can either auto configure this using DHCP or manually enter the web interface URL. You can also set your device to launch launch if only one application is published and auto log off on the last application quit. The general tab allows you to specify your vSpace management service fully qualified domain name or IP address. This is where you enter your second server name if you have a redundancy. Your display settings allows you to change your native resolution which your profile will be deployed out to. By default, I change this to 1024 by 768 and then allow the user to change this depending on the screen resolution their monitor supports. You can also change the wallpaper to a company branded wallpaper if required. You're also able to enable your screensaver up to 10 minutes as well as configure the resolution of a second display if your user base uses this. Your network tab specifies how your client obtain, obtains its IP address. This can either be specified by yourself or obtained automatically using DHCP. The date and time tab allows you to specify your time zone and also set the date and time automatically by pointing it to a time server. So I'm gonna just change this to London and point it towards my time server, which is also my domain controller. The security tab allows you to lock down the settings to a tab by tab basis, so the users can only access the tabs that they require. So by this, you can set up a password and then select the tabs you wish to be locked down. I'm gonna lock them all down except the preferences tab, as the preferences tab is where the users can change their screen resolution. You can also enable VNC shadowing using VNC viewer, which I highly recommend as it's an easy way to support your user base. Always make sure that you set a password up for this though. Once you've done that, scroll down and click next. Kiosk mode will allow auto launch of an application if only one application is published. Take for example, if you have an application called Windows 7, you can edit these settings and specify the name here, and then when your client loads, it will auto log on using the credentials you set on the next tab, and then auto launch this application. As I just mentioned, to enable kiosk mode, you have to auto log on using some using credentials. This is the tab where you set it. If you require a firmware update to your clients, you can specify your file server as well as your FTP server of where your firmware is sat. Now we get into peripherals. So this is where we can set up specific instructions of what your clients can do. So you can redirect audio and printers, which I recommend into your Citrix sessions. You can also make sure your keyboard settings are set up to your So there you go, I've set them to British, and I've also enabled NumLock on the keyboards. You can make sure your speakers and microphones to pass through to your Citrix sessions. You can also configure exact printers to be passed through, however, I will skip this step, as well as scanners and any additional devices you want passed through. Once you've gone through these tabs, your profile is now ready to be deployed. You can click apply. This will save your profile 
and then you can go back to device management manage devices find a client that you want this profile deployed out to either by searching for the name IP address select the client select apply profile drop it down select your new test profile hit OK and then this can take a couple of minutes and then your pro then your client will pick up the new profile and you can check this by logging into the settings on the client itself and ensuring the profile is set up correctly. Thank you for joining me for part two and if you want to find out more technical content please visit the website www.riverlight.co.uk or follow us on Twitter at Riverlight. Thank you and goodbye.